So to install the Android P, you need to download a couple of files. These are all the files you need to download. All the ADP files and the zip files you have to flash. And these are some of more files that you need to download before installing Android P. So this is the XDA thread. You will find all the link in here. Download the files. I will mention the link in the description below. So first you have to turn your phone into fast boot mode if you don't know how to do that press volume down and power up and you will get into this mode now don't forget to enable the usb debugging and oem unlock function i cannot do this cause this device is already bricked so let me just plug in my phone in the pc open the command window in here and type in fast boot devices as you can see the device is shown now type in fast boot oem unlock as you can see the device is already unlocked and then type fast boot boot i'm just gonna go back and extract this i'm gonna change the name After typing the command, the phone should boot in TWRP. After it's booted in TWRP, put the phone aside and go ahead and copy this file with TSOT Manager. Copy and look for MI A1. If you don't find MI A1, don't worry. You'll go and mount. Enable MTP. After so you can see the, you can see your device. In. Go ahead and paste your file right here. After done pasting the file, just pick your phone back up. Go back. Install. Select. So I have to confirm flash. Wipe down with cache. Okay, back. Reboot. Recovery. As you can see it's booted to recovery now and this recovery will be different than that as you can see you have tsort manager and advanced you normally don't see tsort manager because it's specifically modified for this phone after installing the recovery by flushing go ahead and wipe select format data and type in yes go back back reboot reboot recovery in this step uh, you may have like something like this shrink user data okay next single boot next i wish to repartition this device partition
after done with this select reboot your rp as soon as you are done with this place your phone aside let's go back to the pc go into the mi1 folder and extract dp5 image extract here After extracting this, you have to copy a couple of files on the phone, Magisk, DP5, GS1, GS2, Vendor, just copy this to the MI1, right here. Just press check, everything is mounted. Go into install, set install image, select vendor, select vendor image. So I have to confirm flash. Okay, back, mount, vendor, install. Install image, select this, and select system image. So I have to confirm flash. As soon as it's done, install and just flash this post GS1. back and flash post gsi2 now i need to flash the kernel i forgot to copy the kernel let me just copy the kernel back to the phone and select kernel copy this to my a1 right here copying the file it's gonna go back to the phone kernel so I have to confirm let's just wait for it it's taking a little while After doing this, go back and flash the Magis file. You need to install the Magis file if you want a stock camera and the navigation button. Just flash this. Okay, it is gonna go. So I have to Go back. I'm gonna go back in advance. Restart manager. I understand. Okay. This time I'm gonna go into the patches. After this, I'm gonna just reboot TWRP. After this boot into TWRP, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe. Advanced wipe. That will be cache.
डालो गनाट का स्वाइप टू वाइप बैक बैक रिबूट फ्लैक्स सिस्टम जस्ट वी गोना वेट फॉर अ वाइल इट विल रिबूट अ कपल ऑफ टाइम्स सो आई एम जस्ट गोना वेट वन प्ले दिस राइट हेयर After taking a while, it started booting. If you have any issues, let me know down in the comments. I'm just gonna wait for it to boot. As you can see now, it's booted up. Now I can just unlock. developer options i'm going to enable some things get video in this on this enable file transfer Let's go back Now there are a couple of things that I have to copy from the PC in here to install. Just gonna put this aside. install this and try I'm now just going to connect to the wifi and complete the setup wifi settings Now if you want to install the Google camera just swipe up go into file managers pixel 
post and tap on this continue install I'll just open the app As you can see it's working just fine now and you can use it 